So we find ourselves in the underground of a Swiss clinic. In this game, I'm basically in Switzerland in the game, but I'm also in Switzerland in real life. I don't know what to do. Hang on. Um, oh, I deduct. This time someone else deducts. How to safely remove the block B guard. Uh, ooh, we got syringes. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got the metal tubes and uh, sugar too. No, one was wrong. <clears throat> Two were, I don't have the third one. Sheesh. We're missing, uh, what are we missing? A horse? An item. There we go. We're missing an item, huh? Mm hmm, mm hmm. It's not gonna help us. We don't need to pin anything. What is that? A working dumb waiter. Yeah, I tried to, uh, didn't know what to use it for. It wouldn't let me use it. It's already examined. Three out of three. Medicament in the room. Oh, we can, can we go here? Oh, we can go here. Let's unpin that. <clears throat> Stop pinning other stuff. There we go. Accidentally, I always mouse over something else and then they pin. He pins something else instead of unpinning. What are these supposed to be like? Weird chairs? The examination room. Oh, there we go. Sure, we gotta get an item here. Schwarzes Edelweiss. This sedative worked faster than I expected. Perhaps I ought to train myself. Build up a tolerance. But didn't this guy have like uh, eels or maggots coming out of his belly? I'd rather not sit in this chair ever again. Or was it like a clone of him or someone who pretended to be him? We still don't know. We found him with uh, Sherlock and Watson in London in the underground being dead, having been uh, choked to death. There's the guest room. I wonder if Watson was able to speak to Gygax. Gigox! That's how you pronounce it properly. Frackigox. Locked. I suppose the reception will be guarded anyway. Darn. No way I can get past him without being noticed. All right, but we got the third item, don't we? Yes. It could be possible to sedate the guard from a distance using a handmade blowpipe. Perhaps one of the tubes from the storage room could fit or suit. Really? But I think if you just blow a syringe through it on him, number one, it's not going to fly very far. And number two, it's probably not going to inject the full load into him. And number three, it's a game, so it doesn't Trusher, matter. Not the typical tool for a nurse. It's a game, and it will work. You will be sedated, and you will be happy. Where are the tubes here? This should suffice. Investigation scene completed. The blowpipe is now ready to use. Wait, this guy, does he have clothes too? You can't change clothes here. Oh, we're going to change into the doctor's clothes. And of course, this is such a large clinic that they, uh, they don't know each other. Ah, coffee hot. 
so we uh, knock him out. Let's blow him one in the ass. No, I want to blow him in the ass. I mean, that sounds wrong. It's not what I actually want to do. I'm going to shoot him. Uh, uh, why is it going away? Sup? should be enough to avoid unwanted attention, at least from a distance. Oh, this is the black Edelweiss. Manufactured and packaged here. Schwarzes Edelweiss. What? That wasn't, we didn't get the clue? Manufactured and packaged here. This is the same narcotic substance that we found in London. And you can only deduct if you look you can only deduct that if you look at the cork. Oh, there's a note here. Herr Schnitzer, I hasten to assure you that your son is in good hands and that his unexpected development of a psychological disorder can be remedied at our facility. I'm sure you are as concerned about your son's well-being as I am, and I am confident our combined efforts will lead to a speedy recovery. The housing of our... Pharmaceuticals in your warehouse is an important part of this process. If you succeed at drawing officials' attention away from this precious cargo, there will be nothing to stop me from returning to, from returning your son to you, safe and sound and free of this unfortunate illness. Yours sincerely, Professor Gigax. I have to warn you, I got a sneezer coming up. I could just stop it. But I might have to blast one out in the near future. And you know how it is. Actually blast them out. Oh, this is the part for the criminally insane, right? This is where we would find you here in this environment. They would have brought you right over there. No, we're not talking to those. You have to be careful they don't throw poop at us. As is normal in these parts. You get too close and they throw their poop. They fling their poop at you like a baboon. Go away or I will tear your lips from your skull with my fingernails. Miss, I... I'll gouge your eyes out and cut off your hands just like you did to Heidi. I am quite certain you would, but I'm afraid you have me mistaken for someone else. So, I take it your name is Gerda? Who is Heidi? You talk strange. You're going to Hell's Door, aren't you? To where those other funny talkers finally shut up? Hell's Door? To what do you refer? Only Heidi had answers. Go away, pig! I merely- I said go, or you will spend your last moments on Earth screaming. This door won't stop me. Oh no, little girl wants to harm us. We better not get too close to her. <laughs> so Mr. Holmes is here as well. Would you look at that? Did he hire on as a doctor? We're playing three. We're playing three guys here. We're playing Watson. We're playing uh, the detective. What's his face? And Mr. Ho I'm an idiot. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Okay. Okay, I got it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah. No. Of course, the detective was never really here. It was always Doctor Holmes or Mr. Holmes. In disguise. The little rascal, huh? The good thing I didn't give myself away with Watson. I mean, you know, didn't give Holmes away with him. What are they doing here? 
Fabric burnt in the furnace. They're burning people's clothes after they disposed of them. A jalabir, a traditional garment from Northern Africa. The people in boxes. They get shipped here. The garments of several dozen people, at least. Why are there so many sailors? Uh, attire, attires. Should we take a bath here? We just jump right in. I'm just kidding. That's probably for the clothes. Oh, that is one ugly doll. So you're Heidi. I didn't realize I was on haunted doll watch. Good lord, how unsettling. The damage seems intentional. And then he takes it. We have to give the crazy lady Heidi, huh? Nur für befugte. Oh, we can't go here. Can we go here? That's where I came from. What is uh, Gerda? You want Heidi? I will make them pay for what they did to Heidi. I believe I have found your friend. Heidi! Oh, poor girl. What did they do to you? Shh. It's all right now. Everything will be all right. Please, Gerda. Now I have found Heidi, I need some help from you in return. Shh, Heidi. You should thank the man, don't you think? I forgot to remove my face. Have you ever met Professor Becker? I remember him. He was in charge here before that witch Gygax. But I haven't heard his voice for a long time. Too bad. He was nice. Cutscenes are a no-face area. How did you end up in Block B? The nurses say I'm prone to violent outbursts, but they're wrong. I just do what Heidi tells me. Tell me all you know about those funny-talking people. We'd hear their screams. The guards would take them down the corridor behind you, and they'd disappear, and the screams would stop. Professor Gygax seems to rule this facility with an iron fist. Do you know anything about her? She's sick. She did nasty things to us. Separated me and Heidi just for fun. Before she got here, this place was all right. I shall leave you two to get reacquainted. And then she got rid of the, the director, or whoever was in charge here. And now he's torturing people. She's... She's uh, doing this Cthulhu. <clears throat> this Cthulhu thing. So this is a... Uh, not supposed to be here type of area. Blood hit from above. Are we putting up... No, we're not putting up a sequence. Not yet anyways. Discoloration. This stretcher was disinfected frequently. Well, we're putting up a sequence now. Gee, wish. I mean, whiz. These are the same crates we found in London. I should take a closer look. I was almost expecting to find a decayed corpse. I doubt that one could survive such a journey with this little water. Dirt and sweat. They were locked in here for days, judging by the smell. I can see the brooch as well. Brooch. This is the same design as the one from London. And... The kidnappers even provided airflow. How generous. This trip was prolonged and perilous. A prolonged and perilous trip. The stamp on this crate confirms it came from America. That's quite a distance to travel. So they're getting people from all over the world. Yeah, you don't want to have you, you don't want to have been this guy or girl in this box here. Blood everywhere. Substantial blood loss. One poor soul found another way out. Or maybe it's even better, who knows. A bottle this dirty doesn't break by accident. Oh, he killed himself with the bottle. Uh, 
We're missing one more thing. Scratches. The doors can be open for deliveries. So <clears throat> we're missing We're missing a few more options. Which one is this? First one we're missing uh yeah. Let's see this one here. This one we got all the options. So people in the boxes. Yeah, but this guy was already okay, this guy was already dead. Let's see what's the next option, the second one? No, this guy died. He didn't come out on his own. This is how it was. This one was dead, and this one came out on his own. Okay. And then we're missing some options here. We're missing two options here. Hit from above. And they were brought here. Oh, there's something here too. Ah, uh, scribbled in Georgian. Doesn't Holmes speak a million languages? At least, at the very least, two million languages. N4, young adult, male, Dutch, eager to follow orders. N5, male, Romanian, violent, requiring the need for sedatives. N6, young adult, nationality, Ainu. Language incomprehensible. Thus, he must be mad. I don't even know what an Ainu is. Oh, there's the Maori. Diagnosis, language is incomprehensible, subject is still assume, assumed mad. He's, he's from another place, from another, speaks another language that we don't understand, therefore he's mad. The subject was large, all subjects in good condition, showing signs of obedience, so regardless of race or native language, they must move on further testing. So this is how they kept the prisoners docile and harmless. Not a bottle of that crap. Something sticking out. An orthodox reliquary commonly found in Eastern Europe, now in a cell halfway up the Alps. Halfway up your mom's Alps. Okay, that wasn't as funny as I expected. Oh, we got... Okay, so the third one is in the back. All right. So this is the one bringing it in, right? And we're just walking out. Three of them? But that, that wasn't necessary. They were sedated. Yeah, the boxes came in. Oh no, this guy was beaten because the blood... Okay, yeah, he actually beat them. They said I did them later. Okay, I got it. First try. First try. No! Come on! What? Really? What's wrong? This one here? Oh no! I, that's not what I wanted to... I set the boxes. Why did, I, why did he switch to this one? Nice. 
The carriages were backed through these doors, and they began to unload their cargo in secret. Next, the crates were opened, freeing their passengers. Not everyone survived the journey. The dirty, exhausted, and dehydrated prisoners were then herded into cells. But all the cells are now empty, and I have not located a morgue. Time to find Hell's door. So we can go to hell in a handbasket. Hell's door, huh? These are the cells. We've explored everything here. We gotta go back up. Who'd have thought that the Swiss people were so evil? Well, I would have thought, <laughs> because I am one of them. <laughs> I was so scared I'd lost you, Heidi. Okay, Hell's Door. Let's see, maybe the medics or the, the you know personnel people left somewhere. We can go now. They're everywhere still. Still in all directions. So we gotta go back this way. Did he put them in a locker? I guess I put them in a locker. Oh wait, uh, do I have anything to do with this one here? Pin. There must be a secret passage somewhere near the rear entrance. And how am I supposed to know where the... Okay, I guess it's not here where the prisons are. Untersuchungsraum. Durchgangszelle. Oh. Oh, this is where I woke up. With Mr. Schnorrington. There we go back up. Then the rear entrance. Oh. There's the guest room. I wonder if Watson was able to speak to Gygax. <clears throat> um, can't click on anything here. Locked. I suppose the reception will be guarded anyway. Oh, we're not going this way. So where's the back door? Is it, how can it be on the ground? I can't leave here. So I saw two places on the map. We are currently here now. Felicia hung. I wonder if she is still hung. <laughs> Once hung, always hung. That's how hung she is. The block B. Now we're here. We can't go. Maybe we can just go here. Maybe there's another way up and I didn't see it. The laundry. We got the back door. Doors can be open for deliveries. So are they bringing the people then? Oh, there's something here. Scratches. Scratches. Something has been moved through here. This seems to be a locking mechanism. The whole thing must be a door. It smells of machine oil.
Let's deduct how to get the key to hell's door. Uh, I hope I have all the items. What is this note? This has to be the wrong one. Oh, it's not. We don't need any blue one. We just need observations and documents. Okay. Black pad, investigating, working, dumb waiter, patient. Let's see if, if we can get this right the first time. No! Without switching something accidentally back. Guest room, that's not it. The traces they left here. This has to be part of it. This might be part of it. Edelweiss secrets. Then we need a document. Heidi. No, we need the Garda. There we go. Hell's door. Come on, come on. What? Everything. <laughs> Everything was wrong? Everything was wrong. Not just one thing. Sheesh. I must move on for further testing. Let's see if something sticks. We're just gonna throw poop on the wall and hope that something sticks. I don't get it. Watson's infiltration? He will help us with the dump waiter. Oh, okay. Oh, I, oh, okay. I get it what we're doing now. We're not trying to figure, figure out how to get it. I mean, we're trying to figure out how to get in there, but we need the, the help of oh, what the sin. So what can we do? Of course it's this. No, of course it's this. <laughs> of course it's something we don't have. Something we don't have, no wonder I couldn't solve it. Uh, what do we need? Do we need... Which color is it? It's gotta be... Observation. Document and testimonies. We need a document or testimony. Oh! Well, that looks like a trapdoor. Like a trapdoor and a half. That is not a document and also not a testimony. Trapdoor. Gosh darn. But how can we know that he's on the other side of the dumb... The dumb waiter. The smart waiter. And what's with these gas leaks? That can't be healthy. Wait, let's go to the dumb waiter again. Which is not there, it is here. We're missing a document or a testimony. Can we take a glance? No. <clears throat> I 
trying to contact the Watson, but can't get through to him. Know what we're supposed to do? I command you to let me out. None of these would talk to us. We talk to Gerda. I will make them pay for what they did to Heidi. I found Hell's door, the one that made the foreigners silent, remember? How do I open it? Gerda, please, I cannot get inside. You have to tell me how to open it. How can you speak to me like nothing's wrong? Can't you hear Heidi crying? Look at her! Look! She's suffering. I can't even hear my thoughts over her screams. Poor, poor Heidi. We will fix you. I promise. We will fix you. Leave it with me, Gerda. Investigation scene found. <clears throat> we where did we find it in her cell? So we gotta go back where we had one scene, and then there's gonna be like another scene here where we can investigate. And put the events in order. No. <gasps> there's already events here. There, the what? Oh! We need to fix her stupid doll. Are you kidding me? You're going to be good as new. Stay with me, Heidi. I can't lose you again. I, I do have the stuff. That will require two buttons, some thread. Oh, glue and nails. Oh, uh, okay. So we got thread and buttons. We need glue and nails. Weren't you sniffing any glue just before? No? Okay. I'm just asking. No, I didn't say you were a glue sniffer. I was just asking. It's a normal question. I mean, what do I know? You look like a glue, glue sniffer. A glue sniffer. He doesn't have anything here with all these little bottles. Sheesh. Glue and nails. Oh, okay. She's got. She's got to have nails here. There we go. There we go. Nails and glue. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 Everything is ready for Heidi's repair. The doll repair service, it's on its way. I just love dolls. I don't know what it is. Every horror game has just got to have a doll. Will something about... Fix your friend? Shh. Give it to me. How is she feeling? Everything will be all right, Heidi. Everything. Oh, perfect. Gerda, I have a couple of questions. Yes, I... Shut you. Take your little mouth, Gerda. You've said enough already. Uh... She won't speak no more. Now it's only Heidi. You helped me, and I didn't cut out your eyes. So we're even. Now... <laughs> Heidi, 
There are things I need some clarity on. Ask if you dare, but if I get bored, there will be consequences. Okay, yeah. Well, that's a normal situation. There are things I need some clarity on. Ask if you did. All right, what do we need to know? Hates the guards investigating the Edelweiss Garda's testimony. Uh, I asked about Garda's testimony, right? Sheesh. Heidi. Hiding. Ask. You. What? Hiding. Ask. You. I can't ask anything. Everything is wrong. Just ask that before. You're so dull. What good are the medicines? God damn it. So ask. the first one I asked was investigating the Edelweiss. I found Hell's door, but it's locked. Hell's door? Then the second one should be I tried Edelweiss secrets, that didn't work. Gerda's testimony? She knows about the door. That's not true. You, Gerda, told me that Hell's door makes people silent forever. And you believe that snotty little girl? I'll personally ensure that she no. never dares to speak again. Alright, last one. What you did to Gerda will not, cannot happen again. Let's check out. Let's try this. Professor Gygax hurt you repeatedly, scarred your body and mind. You are not protecting Hell's door. You are simply afraid of the consequences were I to enter. I could tap your teeth out with a hammer until you choked on the blood in bits. You could. But then you would live the rest of your life in fear of Professor Gygax. I can make that feeling go away. How? I can stop her. But the key, Heidi, the key to Hell's door is critical to stopping Professor Gygax. And I think you know where it is. Tell him! But you said... And now I say tell him! The professor. She has a special key. Keeps it close and only brings it down when you people go through. Behind those closed doors, those people start to sing. Well, they sing in so much pain. Gygax. Of course. Thank you, Gerda. Heidi. I must leave. Leave? <laughs> You joke. Nobody leaves the Edelweiss. Now you will be with us forever! Yeah, not really. <laughs> not really. How to get the key to Hell's door. Alrighty then. So we got uh, two... Oh. Watson can find it and send it downstairs. Watson must be in the guest room that is bes beside Gygax's office. Perhaps he could acquire the key. We use the kitchen dumb waiter to deliver it down to the storage room. Okay, let's tell him telepathically. Oh. How to get Watson for help. Mm. Seeking help. Not gonna work. Uh, okay, he is there. 
With Napoleon, maybe? No. Napoleon and... Need to set him free. Ah, there we go. The patient who claims to be Napoleon Bonaparte could help. Freeing him could create enough of a distraction to find and contact Watson on the ground floor. So we gotta go and talk to him. Good thing is uh, we are actually not close. God damn it. I mean, we're, we're sort of close. I thought he was in one of these cells where we're gonna have to go back to the slightly less insane to Maurizio. I mean, uh, Bonaparte. So, little lot, little lot less lot. Little lot, little lot less lot. Little lot. Little lot less lot. Sheesh. I forgot the last one. First one needs, needs a lot more, huh? The last one needs a, needs a bunch. And everything's wrong. Great. So first one, third one, second one, third one, uh, two less. Will that work? First one, second one, one less. Whoosh! Okay, fourth one, one more. One more, two less, one less. One more, two less, one less. Yes. It can't be space to open the door. It has to be enter, the, the button that you never use otherwise. You cannot return after leaving. Boom! At last, you came to your senses. My humble apologies, Emperor. Stem your groveling, Englishman. Of course. You are right as ever, for you see, time is of the essence. The Royalists have risen again, and your darling Josephine needs you. Paris needs you. Mon amour. But the guards upstairs in reception stand in your way. Ha! They will pose no problem for the likes of me. Merci, Englishman. When I return to Les Tuileries, I shall make you a general. Oh, you are too kind, Emperor. Now go. Your freedom awaits. Le Tuileries. I am coming, Josephine. Josephine. <laughs> Psst. Watson. Over here. Holmes? What are you doing here? And where did you get that outfit? It is unimportant. I require your assistance. What is happening, Holmes? I need an explanation. It's quite simple. I created a distraction so that I could tell you something important, and in turn, I need you to acquire something important for me. How can you call any of this charade simple? Watson, we can discuss this later. Time is of the utmost importance. The kidnapped people may still be here. This is what I know so far. What? You really found all this on your own? Focus, Watson. I need you to find a key. It will be most unique. All the details are in my notes. Logic dictates that Gygax will keep it near her. Once acquired, you must get it to me. Perhaps the kitchen dumbwaiter could be of use. Holmes, I... I can't do this. I'm no spy. Yes, you can, Watson. You are unfailingly dependable. Dr. Watson, visitors are not permitted back here. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Kuntz. After the war, my nerves, I, uh, I fled all that commotion. It is nothing. A patient attempted to escape. He will not get far. Now, if you would like to follow me. I would not like that. Blood in the water. Someone must have washed their hands here recently. What have we got ourselves into, Holmes? We got ourselves in the kerfuffle and a half. 
No, don't shoot yourself in there. Perhaps I should take this. For all, I hope it won't be needed. I'm pretty sure it will be needed indeed. Did a child make these? Oh, Heidi. Oh, is this nice? We'll find ourselves in a kerfuffle and a half. Bureau der Directory. Ah, Dr. Watson. Just the man I wanted to see. Professor, I'm surprised you're not trying to catch that SKP. Please, my time is far too valuable. I hope Nurse Kunz has been taking good care of you. He has certainly kept me out of trouble. Professor, it is time for your appointment with your next patient, Mr. Wolf. Herr Wolf can wait until tomorrow. I wish to speak with Dr. Wolf. Everyone's a German here. Uh, as you wish. <laughs> You still see patients yourself, even as the director of this entire facility? Only the important ones. And yet I rarely get to pick the brain of a man like yourself. I think it is time we got to know each other, no? I'm afraid there's not much to know. I'm just an average chap living a rather prosaic life these days. Dr. Watson, those of us who pursue knowledge are anything but average. Now, who are you? I am a horse. I'm a physician in search of a stimulating career. I have patients, yes, but admittedly, I'm more interested in the cutting edge of medical research. So when I read about the Black Abel Vice and your work on the healing of minds, I simply had to learn more. I suppose my Abel Vice was always destined to attract other curious minds. But before we continue, I want you to understand one thing. A broken mind can never be truly healed. Ah, I see. So... What exactly do you do here? It is simple. If you cannot fix a person's nature, you must force them to forget it. Surely there are other methods of treatment. How naive. You remind me of a man I once knew. She's got a giant head for but her body. Not speak of him anymore. A colleague? She's the a... former director here. One day he realized that Edelweiss had outgrown him and had been She's an abomination with her giant head. Already, Doctor. I was simply admiring your office, Professor. Apologies. While I am pleased you appreciate its practicality and appearance, we were discussing bigger things. Was my conversation boring you? No, not at all. I, I merely... No, no. I understand full well. You're not seeking conversation. What do you mean? It is obvious. Your mind craves truth, but not in this form. You must witness a practical demonstration if you are to learn. I'm certainly intrigued. Would that be possible? Of course. I propose a journey between the jury of the human brain. You will not leave without being truly enlightened. Kunz, take Dr. Watson back to the courtyard. Then tell the nurses to prepare the operation room and the girl with the door. Yes, Professor. Our preparations will take a little time. I will come for you soon, Doctor. I hope everything is to your liking, Dr. Watson. Yeah, I really love it here. Kish. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a talent myself. So, uh, oh, we cannot deduct how to lure Gigax out of her office. We might need some um, very important. Wolf is an important patient to Gigax. So we'll go with that, and then. Um, what could it be? 
No, that's not what I wanted to use. Sherlock's note. A patient named Gerda has informed me that Gigax will keep it closed. Investigate her office. Mariana Niels. Wolf isn't here. Where's Wolf? Medical evaluation? I don't know. Nothing? All is wrong? Hot diggity dog. Like the noise system. So how can we get her out? I'm just throwing poop on the wall and see what sticks. That is how I investigate. No, oh, so we're missing things. Okay, well, that is uh, very unfunny. So we could never solve it in the first place. Oh, there's the dumb waiter. Looks dusty but functional. Oh, we never use that. I think it connects somewhere downstairs. Did you hear that a patient escaped? All the guards rushed off to find him? Except for the psycho bitch. Patient in Zimmer 2. Hello. I'm struggling to remember something. You should run as long as you can. Patient's poetry. Oh, a beautiful... Uh, oh, it's poetry, so we'll skip this. It's something from... Poetry. Elia, if only I could place it, I must think. Maybe if I write another poem. So we don't got anything remember. to talk about. This area is off limits. A patient has escaped. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to guard block B tonight. <laughs> I want them to fly! Give it to me. No, I don't want to. Why not? Did you see my son? He's such a sweet boy. Everyone's insane! A visitor? No, no. You should have come here. You're mean. That's rude. Minor birds, if I'm not mistaken. Beautiful creatures. How sad that they're caged here. Miss? Too bad my parents had to leave so soon. I haven't seen them for months. <laughs> I hear them scratching. Don't you hear it? Of course, nobody's in this one. Everyone's outside. Oh, this is where... Oh, this was my room. Okay. What do we have here? The reception. The visitor from space. Didn't I already read that? You're finding your room comfortable, Doctor Watson. No, extremely. Can't go that way. For Baltum. Oh, nice. Nobody's here. Photograph seems recent. A commemorative photo album. Been a while since I've been in one of these. Lord, that's a lot of records. 
As more serious treatment is necessary, my special patient Wolf will be transferred to patient room two on ground floor. Oh, that's uh, the poem. All other patients must be removed from my schedule and reassigned to other specialists at the Institute. This patient's mental state requires constant monitoring and immediate intervention to avoid undesirable consequences. December uh, 1879. The, unnecess the necessary surgical procedure were successful, performed. Physical recovery is still in progress. Memory loss is increasing, but still not complete. A new obsession with writing has developed, probably a side effect. January 9, uh, 1880. Patient's writing now mentions old names. Clear sign of partial memory recovery. Unacceptable result. The second surgery is required targeting both the frontal and temporal lobes. February 1880. Surgery went well. The patient's memory does not persist for longer than a couple of minutes, although an obsession with writing lingers. Danger eliminated. Daily monitoring prescribed. Wow. This is like doing lobotomy, basically. Look at that. Oh, you have a problem? You're sad? Oh, I have an idea. It will just make you forget things. Really? How? I'm just going to drill into your head. Start singing the song that you love the most from your childhood. And then while you sing, I'm drilling in your head. Okay? <laughs> and if you stop singing, you don't know it anymore. I will stop. Okay? Let's go. Yeah, that's what normal people do. Patient room two. This is the this is the poor guy. All right, we have a few more clues. Wait, do we have two we can solve at the same time? Why does Gigax care about Wolf? Maybe we can answer that. Uh, this is all about Gerda. Poetry. We're missing a uh, gosh, gosh darn. No, God damn it. Missing one more. Come on. We're obviously missing one thing. God damn it. We're missing one thing for that and we're missing one thing for this. We need to do more observa- Oh, wait! Observations? Can we observe these people? You are Mr. Wolf, oh. am I right? Oh, hello. Who might you be? My name is Dr. John Watson. I wanted to talk with you, if you didn't mind. Ah, doctor. I don't suppose you could help. I, I seem to have forgotten where I am. We're in the Black Edelweiss, Mr. Wolf. It's an asylum in Switzerland, and you are one of its most important patients. But why am I here? That's what I was about to ask you. I can't remember. Sorry, I, I can't remember anything. It's all right. You don't need to push. Try to relax. Let the thoughts come and go. Now, what comes to mind? Mr. Wolf? Oh, hello. Who might you be? We... We just went over this. I'm sorry, but I don't think we've met. We were just discussing this facility, the Black Edelweiss Asylum, and why you are here. That name does sound familiar. Holmes, the things I do for you. Excuse me, who are you? And who's this Holmes fellow? I am Dr. Watson, and Holmes is... Well, you could call him my imaginary friend. That's just a little joke, don't mind me. But why am I here, Doctor? Am I sick? I'm sure I can take a look. <laughs>